Hi everyone, my name is Alvin Hamilton with Family Fun Tips and I'm here today down in the shop and I, I have a laser that I do engravings on and I cut things out with. It's a Chinese K40 laser. You can pick them up off eBay, pretty cheap, Amazon, different places. I've had mine for a little over a year. I've cut things out with it, just messing around, like keychains, different little things. Um, done little keychains like this here, uh, made out of wood, uh, where it engraves it, and then it cuts it out. I've also done acrylic, like this here. And the other day, I was starting to use it. I hadn't used it for a while. And I thought, okay, I'll try, you know, cut a few things out. But I was having an issue. It was burning, but never cutting through, just barely. And that's after like four passes. That shouldn't be. It should cut right through. So what I did, something I've kind of been dreading to do for a long time. Now, this may not interest everyone, but I thought it was fascinating. And something I put off was realigning the mirrors inside of the laser so that you get a nice beam and it's straight. And I went ahead and did it, and it was a lot easier than I expected. So again, this may not interest anybody uh, unless you have one of these, or it may be interesting just to watch this and see how these work. I wanted to show it to you real quick, and then uh, I will actually cut something out, something small, uh, something easy, and hopefully it won't take too long to do that. So here's the laser. This is what's called a K40 laser. And in the very back, where that hole is back there, there's a mirror. And if you look, you can see the mirror. And over along this blue area, right behind it, is the actual laser tube. The laser tube is cooled excuse the mess down here, but it's cooled by water that's in that bucket there. It's pumped up to the laser tube, cools the laser, laser tube so it keeps it from shattering. Whenever I hit the button, the laser will then shoot a beam into that mirror, and then it will shoot a beam into this mirror, which then will shoot a beam over into this mirror. From there, down here at the bottom, there's a lens, and that lens will then shoot the beam where that red mark is. That red mark is being caused by this laser that's right here. It's letting me know where the beam will hit at. So if I was to do a test, you can see where it burnt my hole at, right there. So that's how it works. The way you adjust these mirrors, there's these little screws back here. Mine are a little bit rusted. and I'm not sure the size of those uh, little, uh, get my finger right there. I'm not sure the size of those nuts. Uh, I saw somebody on YouTube say they were eight millimeter. I went out and got me some eight millimeter and they don't fit. So I just used a pair of pliers. And then I slowly adjusted these. And then what I did was I took a piece of tape and put over top of the, where the mirror is. So I took a piece of tape, put it over top of that mirror, and then I shot a beam, and it would show me exactly where that laser was hitting at. And there's also these same settings back there on that mirror. And it's actually pretty easy. It's easier than I expected. I'd say probably within five minutes or so, I had this where it was uh, dead center. So now, once I did that, uh, I took the mirrors out. You can take the mirrors out. Like there's a mirror right down in here. Oh, get my finger right here. You just take that screw out and there's a mirror in there. I cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol. I took that mirror and I just cleaned it with isopropyl. These are probably the two worst because smoke comes up from whatever you're burning. And it gets onto the lens. It gets onto the mirrors. So every once in a while you have to take those out and clean them. Anyway, I did that all last night. It took me all of a probably half an hour at the very most to do that. And here I'd been dreading it for a year thinking this would be a problem. So now, once that's all done, let me show you what it does. So first I'm going to do an engraving. So I will engrave. 
and this is for uh, somebody I know. This is just a small keychain. I'm hoping it moves along fairly quickly since it's not very big. And if it's boring, you can speed this up. It really shouldn't take it that long. I don't have it at a real high power. And I have it at 100 milliseconds, so it's moving along pretty good. So right where that red dot is, you can't see it, but there's actually a laser beam that's hitting that. And you can kind of hear it, and you can see it as it's burning it into the acrylic. like we're about done. I'm actually doing this in reverse, so whenever you look at it, uh, you'll see the frosted through the actual keychain. I'll show you once it's done. Okay, so that's all done. You can see how it kind of burnt into the uh, acrylic there. Now, we're going to go ahead and actually cut it out. For this, I'm going to increase the power up to 40, which should be enough. This will go up to 99%, so we're at 40%. And let's see. I think I'm going to do it one more time. I just want to make for sure. Didn't take that long. Take it out and then cut it right away. It probably cut it the first time. I just want to double check. Knock out the hole for the keychain. And there it is. It's our finished product. Hamilton Hats. That's my son's new business where he makes uh, handmade hats. And this is probably about two inches long. And the other side is the side that we actually cut. So this side's been cut. You can feel it has little big grooves in it. Excuse my hands. I'm outside painting today also. But anyway, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? So once I uh, readjusted the laser beam and got the uh, uh, everything centered correctly, once I cleaned up all the lenses, uh, it gave me a really nice, uh, clean and clear cut. And you can see the edges are nice and smooth. You can even see the words are real nice and clear. Even the little eye on the Hamilton is real nice. So anyway, I just wanted to show that to you. I thought I thought it's fascinating. I always liked lasers. I uh, got me one, like I said, a couple years ago. Really enjoy it. I'd like to be able to do more with it. Uh, maybe make keychains. I can even cut leather. I've uh, been doing this for uh, John uh, with his hats. Uh, he makes the hats. And the inside of the hats, they have a leather band. And been making the leather bands. Uh, I can't get that all straightened out. Uh, as you can see, it says Hamilton hats. I put the leather in there. I put it down on like a uh, power rating of maybe six and a half uh, for power. You don't need a whole lot. Otherwise, it would cut right through the leather. 
this is actually showing up reverse on here. Uh, but it will burn into leather. It'll cut leather. Uh, it'll cut wood. It'll cut acrylics. Uh, it, it will not cut metal uh, just because the metal is reflective. Uh, it could engrave on some metal if you had some special paint to put over it um, and then engrave on that. But anyway, this is just real brief. I went, It's about 12 minutes long. Sorry for the length of time. But I thought, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And if you do have a laser, I thought this might come in handy for guys that uh, might be afraid of lining theirs up or, you know, maybe not knowing how to do it. And it's actually easier than what I expected. And even cleaning the lenses, that was pretty easy. You just need to, I actually wore gloves because you don't want to touch the lenses. The acids from your fingers can get on those lenses and create grooves and things. So you want to wear gloves, some kind of gloves so you don't uh, touch the lens or the glass. Uh, but isopropyl alcohol, put a little bit on there, rub it on a few times, and then kind of rub it with the other end of a Q-tip and get all the dirt off from it. After I did that, it seemed like it went right back to being new again. So anyway, I hope you have a great day and uh, enjoy being inside. It looks like uh, they're letting people outside now. We're just coming out of this COVID thing. I've been kind of stuck inside myself and waiting to get outside. I'm outside painting today and uh, trying to get some things done around the house. So I hope you enjoy today and go to familyfuntips.com. Look at the content that we have on there. It changes every couple of weeks and I, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. So thanks a lot for joining me. Bye.